wedding week happy tuesday day after christmas coming in hot i just went to an f45 class and i am in the michaels parking lot right now i have a few things to grab related to the wedding that i want to go ahead and take care of because i have an h-e-b order to pick up too and it's right across from michaels so we're just knocking both of these out right now had a great workout this morning trying to keep the workouts in this week to help manage my stress a little bit and I can only really work out today and tomorrow because I get a spray tan Thursday and you know we don't want to mess that up. I was really on the fence about vlogging this week because I honestly don't really have any SD card space on any of my SD cards because I've been pre-filming so many videos for while we're on our honeymoon and everything. I have no idea if I'm gonna even have time to get any of them edited but I'm gonna try. Y'all have been working my butt off trying to get content done for y'all. I worked basically all day on Christmas Eve filming and editing, but I'm so excited. It's crazy because getting married on New Year's Eve, it's like you can't really, it's not that you can't enjoy Christmas. You can enjoy Christmas and Christmas Eve and everything, but it doesn't feel like it's Christmas Eve and Christmas because it's the same week of your wedding basically. So, you know, it's obviously a little bit more chaotic since it's, you know, the week before. Well, actually it depends. If you have somebody like fully planning your wedding, it's probably very chill. But if you're doing a lot yourself, which I do have a day of coordinator and she actually does a lot, which is really nice. If you're still having to do a lot yourself, then you know it is stressful. And obviously just the anticipation of the wedding kind of takes away from Christmas day a little bit because it just makes it feel like it shouldn't be Christmas since you have another big thing going on. It's kind of a double-edged sword because it didn't really ever feel like Christmas was supposed to be here yet for me this year. And while I'll say that's true a lot of the times, it was especially true this year, but it's a double-edged sword because normally I like really spiral and have a really hard time mentally right after Christmas just because I love this time of year so much just because I know I get to spend time with family which I don't get to do a lot and I just love the overall spirit of the whole Christmas season so I just spiral when it's like oh we have another year till we get to experience this basically so I normally spiral but now I'm like nope I've got a wedding to look forward to and anticipate so I'm excited for that but it's like at the same time it does take away from Christmas a little bit so definitely a double-edged sword but I'm not complaining I'm very thankful regardless but I've got my coffee and we're getting the day started my parents are driving here today from Florida but they're staying with my brother and sister-in-law tonight in League City and then my parents are going to stay with us, I believe, the rest of the week. So I need to straighten up some things around the house, but we cleaned like last Friday, Saturday all day. We're good there, but I do need to wash and change out the sheets for their bed and get some things straightened out and definitely edit and definitely do some laundry. get ready to go for wedding weekend and it's no secret obviously in this vlog that this is a very chaotic and busy week and maintaining a routine during busy times is so difficult one thing that just really helps me feel like I'm on top of everything and I have my life together is having an effective and simple skincare routine that works for me that I can rely on it's truly a calm in all the chaos skincare routines can be really overwhelming and overcomplicated and I'm so excited to be sharing special me skincare with you all today I've been using their skincare products and loving them and my skin is clearly loving them too one thing about me I love a free online quiz especially when it's helping me get skincare that actually works for me special me collects the skin condition data through a free online assessment that basically takes a scan of your skin and gathers your your skincare behavior, your lifestyle, and environmental data. Then after you take this interactive quiz, the data is then analyzed using the company's AI-powered proprietary technology called Bo I'll Go, and it provides a personalized skincare solution, including a personalized skincare set and personalized skincare report. Also that you can achieve your individual skincare goals. I noticed a change in my skin when we moved from Alabama to Texas, and I also noticed a change in my skin when I moved from Florida to Alabama for college. Your environment absolutely impacts the way your skin is going to 
to react and the products that your skin is going to need. So that's why I really, really loved being able to take this assessment and find out the skincare that works for me. Personalized skincare report is going to provide you some detailed data, including some skin issues you may have, lifestyle factors that may impact your skin, suggestions for improvement. And I also love that it shares the active ingredients that are in the personalized skincare products so that you can see the ingredients that are going to directly be improving your skin. Shalmi's products are formulated in FDA regulated labs and they use medical grade ingredients and I love that they're made here in the USA. You don't have to leave the comfort of your own home to get a personalized skincare set for you. If I work out in the morning, I will wash my face and use my special me cleanser. I love how simple the packaging is and follow it up with my daytime cream. I love that the products have for Abby written on them with a little QR code. I typically like to wash my face once a day. So if I didn't wash it in the morning, then I'll wash it in the evening with my special me cleanser. And then I'll use the evening cream that I have from special me. Streamlining your skincare routine saves you money in the long run because you're not buying a bunch of unnecessary products that you don't even really need at the end of the day. And it simplifies our morning and evening routines by taking out all those unnecessary steps that cause her to take way longer than they need to. Cleansing, protecting, and nourishing is special me is a name of the game. So that is really all you need to do for your skin at the end of the day. So you have everything you need to achieve your skincare goals in one set with special me. I love how simple and effective my special me products have been, especially during this busy season of my life. Check out the link in my bio and take the personalized skin assessment so you can get a nice detailed report on your skin and enjoy a free shipping on all of their personalized skincare products for a limited time. So I know y'all will love them too. So definitely be sure to check them out and thank you so much to Special Me for sponsoring this portion of today's vlog. So we are four days out, which is so crazy. I'm like starting to feel the pressure now of like not having things done because I still need to print out our like seating chart. But I don't really know if I want to put it on the mirror yet because it has to be transported and I know that can like mess it up because I'm just using paper. I'm not like putting vinyl on there for all the names because I just didn't have time to do all that. I am putting vinyl on the top of it and I need to like print that out on my Cricut so that it's ready to go so hopefully gonna do that today but i'm gonna go by michael's and return a few things that i ended up not needing and get some more ribbon to wrap some of our day of gifts but my parents are about to be here it's like 8 40 um so i came for my brothers this morning and my mom and i are getting our nails done at 9 30 for the wedding and then after that we're probably just gonna knock out a bunch of like my errands and stuff I'm really tired though because I stayed up until like midnight editing my what I read in 2023 video and it was an hour long video and I had like two hours of footage, maybe two and a half. So I just really had to get that done. I just really wanted to get that done and scheduled because that means all I have to do between now and leaving for the honeymoon is record a podcast episode and I'll be like all caught up besides... I won't have a video to go up this Sunday that we get back from our honeymoon, but I can obviously like edit and upload something else a few days from getting back. So I'll probably just do that. So it'll just be like a little over a week that y'all don't have content while I'm over my honeymoon, but not that long. It's not like I'm going to be missing an upload per se. But I'm proud of myself for getting ahead on the podcast. Um, I am skipping like one week because I always skip a week during the holidays for my podcast. Just have like a week off. I have the last one planned, but since my parents are in town, I'm probably not going to end up recording it. I wanted to record it yesterday, but my computer was having like storage issues because of the amount of content that I've been filming and trying to edit without like getting it uploaded first. I can't have my external hard drive plugged in at the same time as my microphone for the podcast. So I had to wait until everything was like finished importing, finished exporting, all that good stuff. And that didn't really happen until late yesterday evening. I was more adamant about getting the video done than the podcast episode because I realized 
after the wedding, we don't leave for several days. So on one of those days, I can totally take the one hour to record the podcast. I know I'm probably not gonna want to, but it's already planned, so it would be super easy. No, it's Thursday evening. I am like feeling so many things. I do not want the wedding to get here because I don't want it to be over. I'm already starting to like feel the anxiousness about the come down afterwards and I'm like I'm like low-key getting emotional. I'm just I'm just like not ready for this season of life to be over yet just because I feel like I didn't really get to soak a lot of it up because of just how I thought I was mentally and emotionally because of work and planning a wedding and being a content creator and just like not really having time to soak it up and I'm just feeling a lot of guilt from that. So now that it's like almost here, I'm wishing I could like go back and experience it again. But I am at the point now where I know that it's my period talking because I did finally start last night, which I started in the middle of the night and I had the worst cramps I've had in my entire life. I was literally about to freaking ask somebody to take me to the hospital because I was like literally going numb everywhere and I thought I was going to pass out, throw up, and crap myself at the same time and I was just so unwell but I'm feeling better now um, for the most part but I know it's my period talking and I know it's just like the butterflies and nerves I have. I have good nerves. It's like anticipation nerves, excitement nerves, and like butterfly nerves. But then of course just like the thought of it being over just like makes me really sad at the same time. But I'm also just like so excited. I got my spray tan this morning as y'all saw. I'm about to do my first rinse here soon but it's been a really long and hectic day. I thought that everything we were doing today would have gotten done a lot sooner. Um, I'm so thankful that like my parents are here though because something more blooms all of our fl flowers got here There were so so many boxes and Griffin and my dad took everything over like lugged it all up into the truck and took it all over to um, Griffin's parents house, but I'm really glad my mom's here too because She's just been able to like when I haven't had things for her to help with She's just been like folding our laundry doing our laundry doing our dishes and it's just been such a huge Help for us. So I'm very thankful for that. Um, and she has no idea how much it means to me I need to pack for this weekend because tomorrow night we're going out with just like going to the rustic and just chilling and like Kind of parking there for the night instead of like bopping around with so many places I don't know we might go out, but I doubt we will um, just because it'll be such a hassle to uber somewhere different um, with a big group for anybody who's already in town we're gonna go to the rustic and Hang there. So I need to be like ready like packed and ready by like 4 30 and i'm not really packed because i've been trying to pack up our last couple boxes i'm trying to get like everything for the rehearsal dinner in one box um i've been moving some boxes around and like reboxing things i've got all, all of our like day of gifts ready I'm trying to get all the, everything for the detail shots ready i made a presentation like slideshow on canva that it looks so freaking good i'm so proud of it for the rehearsal dinner and i want to find a playlist that's like already made on spotify to like play while like um plays at our rehearsal dinner i have to make the list of like the shot list with the names for my photographer still so i'm going to do that tonight before i go to bed because it won't take too long i was trying to make the like header that says our favorite people for the top of our mirror seating chart like all day long my mom and i went to michael's twice because i got it i needed more vinyl they didn't have the right size vinyl for my new Cricut maker that I'm using. For some reason, the Bluetooth just like wasn't working for my computer with the Cricut because it was working on my phone but not my computer. So I was like trying to do the Cricut from my phone, but I bought the wrong size vinyl. And basically, a super long story short with the Cricut is that I bought the wrong size vinyl, which I could still use it, but I couldn't get the size that I wanted for the mirror to print. 
I would have to like just choose something a lot smaller and I don't want to have like a really small thing on like a big wide mirror you know like really small text would just like look really bad in my opinion so I kept trying and trying to find a workaround using a different font and everything and I ended up not being able to figure it out after like three hours of just like trying to like make something work and I was like you know what screw this we're just gonna have our seating chart the things stuck on there and I literally just printed them at home and made them in Canva and I ordered like pre-made adhesive wax seals from Amazon and I was like that's just gonna be what's on our mirror because I'm sick of trying to figure this out like this many days before when I wish I could just be enjoying these last few days because I feel like so many people are like the week of, of the wedding is so nice because you get to just kind of relax because if anything's not done then it's just like not done and I'm like yeah but those things like have to get done still so or at least try so I haven't really been able to like relax and enjoy these days as much as I wish I could have but it is what it is at least on Saturday I'll be open I guess before the rehearsal dinner yesterday my mom and I went to Sam's and we got like some peanut butter cracker like packs um and then we got some Cheez-Its and assorted chips and we like stuffed those in the black glitter paper craft bags we have for the late night snack so we got all those stuffed and ready and we've been doing a lot and I just haven't really thought the vlog because like I either haven't had my camera on me or like my family's just been with me and I've also just been trying to enjoy the time with them so I'm sorry I'm not really getting near as much footage for this week as I wanted to. I'm not really vlogging this necessarily to have good content per se. It's more so for me to look back on and like always have. I got really upset earlier because I was going downstairs to put my perfume bottle for the day of and Griffin's cologne bottle because we got have like specific ones that YSL Beauty actually like sent us. The box that Griffin's was in, it was like open on the top and I didn't realize it. It was just like its own little cologne box. And I went to like set it down on the kitchen counter. So like when I went to go like this, it just slid out of the box, flew onto the floor, whole bottle of cologne has never like been used, shattered everywhere, glass everywhere, cologne everywhere. I instantly start crying. My mom is like, I, I will go literally go get another bottle right now. What's the name of it? Where's, where is it at? Whatever. And she's literally like just a godsend of a person because she went and found like literally went for it got like a replacement model it was just like one of those things where like the cricket thing wasn't working out a few other random things had happened today and that was just like my last straw and it just like made me cry and i knew it was something like replaceable i'm really glad it wasn't something like more i don't know just like irreplaceable i guess so i'm really thankful it was just cologne but in the moment i was like this is my last straw sorry this clip's like 10 minutes long but guess what don't really care also you guys i'm like freaking out because my photographer sent um some previews of my bridal portraits and i like don't know how i feel about my hair and i'm like i love my hair when i did the hair bridal hair makeup trial and i love it in the pictures but for some reason i'm like I just don't feel 100% settled with it and not because I don't like it and I don't think it looks good so like I asked my maid of honor I like sent her one of the pictures and I was like okay like please I need you to be like totally honest with me right now what are our thoughts on this hair and I'm just like so torn because I'm like what if I did this other hair would I like it even more and I hate the whole what if of wedding things like when you're doing a wedding the what ifs like if you don't just like choose something and choose to like love it wholeheartedly you're always gonna be like, well, what if I did this? Or what if I we do this instead or whatever? And it's just exhausting to like always think like that. So right now I'm just like trying to figure out, am I gonna go in and do the exact same hair and makeup? And also I'm kind of like, do I want like a little bit more dramatic makeup? Cause it's New Year's Eve. Cause the makeup I got was very, very soft feminine. And that's kind of what I asked for. I was like, I just really want my features enhanced. I want to look like myself. But then at the same time too soft, almost just my face looks really different. So it's just like, I don't know. I wish somebody could just like look at me and be like, this is what looks best on you with your dress, with your hair, with your face shape. And this is what you're doing. Like I literally wish somebody could just do that. Honestly, I think I'm going to like try to do my own hair similar to the other ha hairstyle I want to do because it's pretty simple for the rehearsal dinner and see how I like it. Like in pictures that night and just like in general. And I'll make a game time decision the day of. We will see. But I just wanted to catch you guys up. And I'm sorry this clip was so long. But I'm actually not sorry. I just wanted to catch you guys up. Because I haven't really gotten to talk to you guys very much. So, yeah.
out to the rustic to meet like people who are already in town um we need to leave like 20 minutes ago not really five minutes ago but i need to walk out really quick so i would have been on time but i ended up like redoing my hair so i because i'm like literally questioning about what i'm doing with my hair for the wedding day and i was trying to like mimic it in a way to do something like this instead and now i'm just really torn so i don't know but i'm wearing this shirt that i got at mango um it's really cute it's like a shimmery kind of silver white and then because i wanted to wear something white-ish for this weekend and then i've gone on a little skims tank bodysuit underneath this little box from amazon uh princess poly belt these pants are princess poly and they're really old but they have a really pretty black sheen to them that y'all can kind of not sort of see in the light and then my amazon little mark fisher heels so love the cutie outfit i'm gonna throw on probably just my aritzia tna jacket or um maybe this super down one over here um, that I have. This one is just so tight on my shoulders because I'm just like too broad for the sizing of it and also the hardware on this is silver, but whatever, it doesn't matter. All right, why is he laying on a <laughs> Not weird, I promise. Oh, uh, we are one 24 hours out from the day of the wedding, so I wanted to document this. I have white strips in my mouth. Griffin is snug as a bug on a rug. And I still have to take all my makeup off and get my pajamas. But we went to the rustic tonight and hung out with our what an angle <laughs> bridal, some of our bridal party and other friends, people who made it in town. But how are you feeling? I feel a little, a little nervy. A little nervy? Why are you nervy? What are you nervy for? What are you like? Mo okay, what are you most excited about? And what are you most nervous about? I'm most excited about getting married to you. Yeah, like what part of the wedding day are you most excited about? Uh, when we both say I do. Oh. I'm most nervous about if I'm gonna cry or not. <laughs> don't be, don't be nervous about that. I want you to like embrace your emotions and feel what you need to feel. Wait, are you nervous that you're not gonna cry or nervous that you are gonna cry? Nervous that I'm not. Oh, okay, but I don't want you to put your <laughs> pressure on yourself to cry. I mean, obviously, like I want you to <clears throat> let your emotions flow, but I also don't want you to like. I've been thinking about it for a whole year now. What about you? I think I'm most excited. I don't know. Every time I think about, like, our wedding day, I, like, like, all day today, every time I thought about our wedding day, I've had to hold back tears because I'm just, like, there's a lot of excitement because as from the bride perspective, you put, like, all this work in for, you know, over a year, really. And the men don't, like, the men help out and stuff where they can, but they truly don't see how much thought and planning goes into it. So, I'm excited about a lot of things, but what I'm most, I'm definitely most excited for, like, the ceremony and just, like, that whole moment of walking down the aisle to you. Like, I'm so excited for that. Um, just because I think it's just going to be a really emotional moment for, like, both of us and, like, intimate with, while still being surrounded by, like, 175 of, like, our, you know, favorite people i'm definitely most excited for that mo moment but i'm also just like very excited that we get to like spend time with both sides of our friends and family in one place in one night because this is the only night of our lives that's ever gonna happen yeah and that's what makes me ex extremely depressed um at the same time so <laughs> because it only happens this one time most nervous i think i'm just most nervous right now and i think it's just because of the turn of events today about like liking my look the day of yeah, i feel look, very good about like look amazing. thank you i'm also really i feel like i'm just like really nervous and it's not nerves it's more so just like butterflies i guess is what i would call it just the butterflies and anxiety of like all the eyes being on me maybe that's why my stomach has been feeling weird yeah <laughs> like both of our stomachs have been so messed up all week like we've both just been like what is happening to us like we're fine like we're not sick in any other way but our stomachs are both like just unwell all week like i've had like the weirdest appetite like one moment i'm like yeah this sounds good and the next i'm like nope i'm not eating anything <laughs> but oh my gosh i just can't believe that griffin was like I have, to, I have to tell you something and then he like showed me his phone and it said he has a wedding countdown on One more day. I just dropped Ella off this morning, um, which was just like emotional. I was like, oh my gosh, the next time we pick you up, you're gonna have a new last name, just like your parents. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I just always hate dropping her off. Y'all know that. Um, so we boarded, but uh, Griffin just went and picked up a U-Haul because we rented a U-Haul to like have all of our something our blooms boxes in because there's just so many of them to transport them. And so that at the end of the wedding night and when 
the U-Haul gets there, it's like everything's coming from and being loaded back into one vehicle, which will just save a lot of time and question asking for my wedding day of coordinator and her team, which she recommended doing it to me. And you know, renting a U-Haul for just like two days is not a ton of money. Like, yes, it's money, but you know, it's like worth it to save a lot of stress at the end of the day, knowing that everything's in one place instead of being like, getting to the venue and being like, oh, where's this? And somebody's like, oh my gosh, we left it in this other car. It's just nice for all of it to be at one place. But I'm finishing getting packed right now. Um, Griffin's gonna go load the U-Haul at his parents with everything and um, I'm getting my hair washed by my hair girl at 11.15, I think. And then I'm gonna come back here, style it, and then pretty much hit the road because I'm trying to be like fully packed before I go to my hair appointment. So that's the plan, but oh, I just can't believe it's like here. When leaving home as singles for the last time <laughs> i just cleaned my ring too so it looks amazing um griffin's like let me see your face i'm so shaky my car is full griffin's about to go get take the u-haul i'm going to the hotel with his sister and then gotta get ready for rehearsal, rehearsal dinner. dinner but it's our last time leaving our home pulling on this parking spot as single people wink wink that's so bad i know okay <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. Okay. Is it good? Okay. Ready? <laughs> you gotta pull. Push yeah. There you go. You're a strong, you independent girl. Get it. <laughs> Woo! fresh and our minds are fresh because of time you just kind of lose it it was seriously the best day of my life like ditto hands down for <laughs> sure it was such a special day and really just a, such a special weekend and i feel like we just it mean, means so much you know to have like both sides of our families both sides of our friends in one place and it sucks that it's you know only for <laughs> couple hours of a day but um the memories last a lifetime and I think that that's something that a lot of people overlook when they think about whether or not they want to do a formal wedding you know yes the wedding only lasts one day but the memories last forever and that's like what's so special and you know you get to create them with the people you love mm -hmm. and just celebrating a new chapter of life and I'm just like so happy we did it on New Year's Eve. I just think it was just so fitting for us. So it's actually kind of crazy that, you know, on a six year anniversary of like meeting all of his siblings, basically. The venue was just, I mean, stunning. we knew it was stunning, obviously. That's why we chose it, but I can't say enough good things about the homestead. And um, 
literally like I don't know how but I somehow managed to not forget anything between I mean just y'all should see like the amount of stuff that we had to just pack especially with had, doing our own florals and decor and like being the main planners like us being ourselves and having just like you know a day of month of coordinator and everything you know our, our families helped us out so much this week you know with just packing things up and driving things and um helping out with around, stuff around the house yeah my family helping with stuff around the house while they were staying with us while we couldn't this week i don't know like i said the venue was amazing and i if you're in texas or even if you want to do a destination wedding it's such a stunning venue and it's not even i mean i say that and i we had so many people tell us the same thing they mm -hmm. were just like this venue is truly you know like one of a kind it's so stunning outdoor space is beautiful the indoor space space is beautiful it's not somewhere that you have to worry if um it rains or something because the backup where it is inside is just as beautiful and breathtaking the weather was absolutely perfect it wasn't too cold it wasn't too hot uh, which was it was really weird because it was cold all week and then sunday it was like randomly a little bit warmer and then it was freezing today yeah. so we just got super blessed with amazing weather just absolutely shocked we didn't like forget anything like i remember all morning i was almost like waiting on something to happen because everything was just going so smoothly it's it was just so crazy and i mean i i don't know i just it went by so so fast and it's just so hard because you you deal with so many conflicting emotions because there's like this weight off your shoulders and this relief and release really when you realize you know, okay, the wedding planning's over. This is everything coming to life, the um, coming to fruition. All of the planning that, you know, went into it and all of the hard work, like all of that's over. So there's a lot of relief that comes with that. There's just the truly, I mean, the highest form of joy from what, because of what you're celebrating and who you're celebrating with. And then there's, you know, a bittersweet feeling knowing that it'll be over soon. And then when it does end, there's the, I mean, the, it it really, like, I just have cried. I mean, gosh, I've cried so many times in the last, like, 24 hours just because it's been, like, you know, when you realize it's over, then that's what I just keep saying. I'm, I just keep saying I can't believe it's over. Um, it's, you know, that and I can't believe it's over, but also I can't believe we're married. I know. Um, it still feels so weird to say. I mean, it's still, it's been not even a day, but it feels, it feels so weird to say it and... It's just such, it's so many emotions going on at once. Like it's literally just an overload because it's excitement. It's, um, there's so many nerves and a lot of people are kind of like, why are you so nervous, you know? And it's because you know the outcome. You know, yeah, it's, it's the weirdest thing to be nervous about, but it's truly good nerves, you know, it's butterflies. And um, I was so anti first look for, I don't know, just my whole life. I was like, I want the moment I saw my, husband and when I saw you I went that first moment to you when I walked down the aisle and I always thought you know brides were probably a little bit dramatic when they talked about um first looks and how much it helps their nerves before walking down the aisle because I was always like why are you so nervous if like you know this person so well it's your favorite person yeah. but like truly you do not know until you're a bride on your wedding day what it feels like and I just remember like I woke up that morning at like 5 a.m. I had had a horrible dream. I had like the, um, I had opened up all of our boxes of flowers and they were all like neon purple, which they weren't supposed to be. And like, just basically everything went wrong in my dream. And then I woke up at 5 a.m. and I was like, today's the day. And I was just so overwhelmed. My stomach was so queasy. I just had, my stomach literally felt like it was flipped upside down from the butterflies. I don't know. Um, That's all I took about six tums. Yeah. And it just, it was so so crazy um all morning just feeling so queasy but um it was so nice because with getting married on new year's eve and it's starting later in the evening like at 6 p.m um and having you know four people on the hair and makeup team everything was just so like i feel like a lot of times weddings can just they're just like this very fast go 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 and don't get me wrong it went by so quickly but because it was on new year's eve we had the extra time in the reception we had like an extra hour and a half than standard weddings typically do um and then we didn't even have to be at the venue until 10 a.m um which is when we had access to it when it began anyways for um getting ready which was just nice because you know we didn't have to wake up super early so it wasn't like we were 
extremely exhausted and um we just got to both you know spend time with our friends in our suites before and have the best time just i know like before the first look everyone was just asking me how i was feeling and mm -hmm. i just I, I kept going through these waves of i don't know about you but it was That's, like uh, these peaks and valleys that. yeah you would go like i feel good to, oh, yes I like I, I would feel good and i'd be like i'm so ready i feel good and then all of a sudden you'd crash and you just feel like oh my gosh, I'm so nervous, mm -hmm. and like I have the butterflies again. And especially when it was getting close to getting in, in my dress and having the first look. Um, but seriously, like I felt so nervous for the first look, but once we did it, it was like, one, it was the most special part of the day. Like we both agree, yeah. like it was our favorite part, um, which it's just so funny as somebody who like very outspokenly was against it. Um, in hindsight, it was just so special to get to see him before walking down the aisle and it truly calmed all my nerves because then when it came time to walk down the aisle, the only nerves I felt were like right in that moment when I was about to do it. Um, whereas I would have been like probably shaking and like wanting to throw up if I, not in like a bad way, but just like, it is a lot. And I mean, like it, it I don't know, maybe like some people I think do really thrive under knowing that they have a lot of eyes on them. I don't know, it's just a lot. And the first look was truly just amazing and getting to read our vows to each other was so special. I got the change phones. Each and every one of the vendors was truly so incredible between um, the venue, my coordinator, um, photographers, videographers, using something Bar Blooms as our rentals. I The flowers looked great. I think um, <laughs> literally everybody was blown away by the flowers. The amount of times I had to explain to people, no, they are not real. Like even my bridesmaids, they were just like, wait, these aren't real and like some of them were like this is my favorite bouquet i've ever even held like in a wedding um they just turned out so beautiful and um i loved doing a first look at the reception space that was like really special getting to soak it all in before it gets you know all disheveled from everybody you know eating and moving around and dancing um it was really special to get to see the space together and um dj was great Food was amazing, thankfully. We were very stressed out the food. Yeah, we were. We've been the weddings where the food's, you know, either just not been good or it's been cold. Um, and, you know, as a guest, like, you're not gonna necessarily, like, judge the people's wedding for that um, and their wedding day, but you do remember it. And um, we were just really hoping that it was great and it was so great. And we had so many people, you know, of all ages tell us, like, the food is so amazing. Like, very big servings too so like you know you're not gonna be so hungry good. like right after you finish eating literally everything was amazing we loved our signature drinks did the coconut margarita and old-fashioned and they did a great job they, they didn't make them like they did not go light on the pours i mean totally made yeah. the drinks amazing yeah. and i love doing the we did a group photo to get everybody to get everybody the onto floor. the dance floor before the dance floor opened and then we did Give Me Everything by Pitbull to like open the dance floor up because that's one one of my favorite songs that just like gets me so hype. Um, but it kind of got everybody to be like, oh, like uh, this is a fun song, let's dance. And then right after that song, I ran and changed to my second dress, which Griffin hadn't seen yet. So mm -hmm. um, I like ran in there with my mom and my maid of honor and um, changed really quickly. And then just kind of like, I didn't do like a re-entrance or anything that was announced. I just literally like ran out in the middle of swag surfing, mm -hmm. playing and just like jumped in the middle of the dance floor, which was a little bold of me. I like literally like cut through everybody and I was like, I'm coming to the middle of the dance floor right now to find my husband and dance to this. I just couldn't be more grateful for everybody that, you know, contributed by showing up, contributed just by helping in whatever way. Um, I know at the end of the day, it's about us and getting married, but truly the people that make the biggest difference too and we just had the best time and it was so much fun it was such a happy night um the speeches were great the dances were great we, we really say the only thing was we had fireworks and that was like so amazing fireworks were so so incredible know, like it was just, like such a core memory like getting to watch those and ringing in the new year with you and like i don't know that was just so incredible. And then we were supposed to go inside and have like two or three songs and then do our send off, but there was a miscommunication. And I think the DJ actually announced to come back in, but it was really loud and I couldn't really hear him. Cause I remember looking at him and being like, oh, I hope he's not saying anything important right now. Cause I can't hear it. So everybody went straight from, or most people went straight from fireworks to where the send off was. And we were like, no, we're going back to the dance floor to finish this thing off. Cause we knew we still had to do 
several songs and then or really it was like two songs and then the final songs we picked to play for the night and our private last dance so our private last dance um was really special i was just so sobbing the whole time and griffin was just telling me how great everything looked and mm -hmm. how much he loved it and um how much how great of a time we had and um i was just sobbing the whole song but it like felt good to be able to like soak up those last i remember i was just like looking around at the empty venue like seeing it lived in in a way and it was just like an emotional feeling just um soaking it all in and like being able to not have to worry about crying at that point like i was like i can just let it out because like i'm not really i mean i'm taking the send off pictures but my face isn't totally going to be like close up and i'm so i just let it out and um it was so emotional and so special and that song like i don't know I had loved it so much before and it's so special with it actually being New Year's Day at that point and what the song talks about, I mean, it's, you know, it's just special. But then off was great too, yeah. um, with the sparklers and driving off in the car and it was just like so emotional driving off, I was just sobbing the whole way back. Um, and then when we got back to the hotel, we were able to just like debrief with each mm -hmm. other about our favorite things and eat our cake that we got to bring home with us and um it was so great but i'll let you talk what was your <coughs> favorite stuff <laughs> or like i don't know what, what are your key like thoughts and feelings i really enjoyed the first look because i was able to be vulnerable without a bunch of prying eyes on me yeah um and your vows were so great yeah. i loved them being myself and I love being able to see like your dad um, and you do y'all's first look. That was really, yeah. really nice to see. I forgot to mention that, yeah. From a different point of view. My point of view, like obviously I don't see how I act. Like I feel it, but I don't get to see that by getting to see someone else see you. Yeah. Um, that would that feel the same. Yeah, and I got to do the first look with my girls too. And that was so special. Yeah. Just as I told you last night and today, like the wedding was great. All of the hard work you put into it. I not knowing as much. Like yes, I probably shouldn't have known a lot more, but not knowing made it that much more better in a way in my eyes for me to appreciate it for all the hard work you put into it. But yeah, the fireworks were great. As I said, drinks, food, loved all that. Um, can't complain. Just crazy to like how fast the day goes by. Yeah. Like even and to think like we had a very relaxed timeline. Like my photographer kept saying like we are so beyond good on time. Like we have, we have time basically, and like everything's good. Well, I think it was weird. It was like we were there for like seven hours, but then all of a sudden like. It was go time, I was like, what? I know, because you're like, oh, I'm gonna be here for so long, and then basically like an entire work day, and then it's like, oh, uh, when it starts, and then it's like basically over before you know it. Like, it just flew by so fast. It was truly the most special day ever, and I just wish I could relive it, like, every single day. It's so hard not to, like, cry just, like, thinking about it, because, I don't know, that, that just, like, level of joy and happiness um, and love that you feel on the day. It's like, you can't really like match it super easily in everyday life. Um, you but know, you know, if you could, efforts. if you could make it match it that e easily in everyday life, it wouldn't be as special if you got yeah. to experience it every day, you know? So there, there's a reason for that, but it sucks because you, you want to, um, mm -hmm. you know, experience it every day. But like I said, it would lose the, ma the feeling would lose the magic if it was an everyday occurrence or feeling. I can't believe it's over. Like it came and went so fast. I love you. I love you too. That's my wife.